I have discovered the hottest play in crypto right now, guys, and today we're gonna be talking about that. It is a culmination of two of the hottest narratives in the crypto space, in fact, in the world right now. This project is based as hell, and you know what, we've talked about it before. And if you've been following me, you actually bought this coin before, and maybe you still have it. And if you do, then you're gonna be stoked. And if you, if you don't, that's okay, because I made the mistake of thinking it was just another meme. I sold it, and I learned later, and I, I don't remember which video it was in, but if you guys are, have been in my audience for a while, you know, and, but it's okay, because yesterday, just, just yesterday, and it was only after, it was only after I actually spoke to the developers on a call and actually waited until I got confirmation back from two different sources who understand this severely complex technology that is changing the world, that is AI and fully homomorphic encryption, zero knowledge, these kind of things. And so when you have an anonymous team, you know, it's very hard for me to come and say that I have high conviction. But in today's episode, guys, we're gonna tell you why I finally decided to come and make a video about this. And more importantly, why I decided to make a purchase last night that is one of the largest liquid token asset acquisitions that I've ever made. It was a combination of two tokens. And I will get into that in just a second. I know I know that you guys are dying to hear this. I don't, I don't wanna waste a lot of your time with the Bitcoin news because let's face it, let's look at the chart. It's not that exciting. I have basically put all of my leverage trading aside. It's too choppy, too volatile for me. As you guys know, leverage for me is just casino money. It sits on the side. Four days in a row, we've had negative outflows from Grayscale. It's been bleeding, but it doesn't change the fact that still every day, more Bitcoin are being bought up on the open market than are mined. The halving is like three weeks away, something like that. And this is a, a standard pre-halving dip. So if you're new to this show, welcome, subscribe. This is a good day for this to be your first time watching this channel. And if you guys are returning and subscribers already, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And make sure that you destroy that like button because we're about to give you some crazy, crazy shit. So again, outflows, I, I really wanna just kind of get past this stuff. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> it's just boring, you know, it's Bitcoin. I, I usually like talking about ETFs, you know, we had, uh, you know, this is kind of showing you that altcoins, but I think this is inconclusive. This this tweet is made to show you that, you know, that uh, maybe altcoin dominance is going to grow here. It's inconclusive for me. I, I don't know yet. Again, mostly sitting on the sidelines, but, uh, and, and normally on days when it's choppy like this and I don't have any conviction and, and you know, what's going on, I'll just watch the news, tell you guys about it and kind of see how things are evolving. I mean, we have this horrible news on the screen that now on Solana, instead of like, memes about funny characters now there's racist memes and that's just horrible look for our industry so please guys don't participate in that i'm not touching with a 10-foot pole and basically uh this guy's saying that uh, uh, dan crypto traders trade says there's a lot of liquidity uh you know in the 59 and 65k regions again so chopping between there and that's where we might, we might be range bound for a while until, I mean, Grayscale is gonna run out of Bitcoin sooner or later and probably sooner than later, or at least slow down a lot. And uh, and that is really where the majority of the sell pressure is coming from, obviously. And they don't have an unlimited supply and that's just getting redistributed and bought up by like literally BlackRock Fidelity and, <laughs> and literally Michael Saylor and, and like probably nation states, like, you know, are, are just, so guys, do yourself a favor though, and get some Bitcoin. I know that people say altcoins will outperform, but like just slowly start, as they say, it, stacking sats. You know, one uh, one fragment of a Bitcoin, the smallest denomination is called a Satoshi. Just start stacking Satoshis, right? And like over time, try to get to one, one Bitcoin. So based AI, I told you this video was gonna be based AF. And what is based AI, guys? Well, it all starts with a journey. And I think before, before we go into it, I actually, let me, let me just uh, zoom out over here. Let me, let me just give you guys a different perspective here. So as we, as we do this and this, oh, you guys, you can't really see it. It's going to be too bright. 
But anyway, as you can see, it's like, it's like a Windows 95. I can't even, I'm not gonna bother with dimming it. But anyway, it's a, let's go, let's go back to Pepe over here. It's like a Windows 95, uh, their website is an entire Windows XP or Windows 95 uh, operating system. <laughs> uh, so let's go back. And so this is gnarly. I mean, Based AI is creating something for a long time now, and it was all born from a lot of the same developers who created PepeCoin. Now, let me tell you a little story about PepeCoin. So this is the website over here, pepecoin.io, and the one I just had behind me. And we'll, we'll go log in as a guest here, uh, just, just so, and you can see there's all kinds of, this is the, this is the desktop, it's epic. And so let me tell you the story about PepeCoin real quick. It was an anonymous team who developed Pepe back in 2016, the original Pepe, and they de they've developed their own blockchain. Um, it was like a, mem a memetic blockchain for storing NFTs or pictures on chain uh, to protect your intellectual property and your rights. And, and, to, and then later, and, and then actually they were listed. So there's a long story. I'm not going to go into all of it. Uh, I will do a deeper dive on all of this later, but I will tell you a little bit right now. Look at this is dope too. I look at Pepe in the clouds over here. Um, but but anyway, so they, they uh, a long story of, of Pepe the coin, right? So first it was just the meme. It was uh, listed, on, listed on exchange Bittrex and then there was a whole like Hillary Clinton uh, calling Donald Trump racist, and then uh, Trump posted a Pepe meme, and then she said that was a, a symbol of like white supremacy or something. So Bitrex forced the team to stay listed to rename the ticker from Pepe to Meme, and so now Meme Land, that ticker Meme, is actually also these OG devs are actually the original Meme ticker as well. Uh, so it's, it's had a history and then it was the the new Pepe the one that we've talked about on this channel before and made a lot of money on and that's now uh, you know Over a billion dollars in market cap uh, one second. Let me drink mm. Electrolytes here uh, That one stole everything the logo and the, and uh, I will link below also some some good videos for you to check out some um, some great uh, people who tell a story better than I will right now, but so the Pepe, the Pepe team devs and some other devs started working on another project a while ago. And we'll come back to the Pepe coin and what that value is in just a second here. But this is the website for uh, based AI. And so it's a layer one network for ZK LLMs and smart contracts. Now, like I said, I had a, a call with the developers uh, and, I, and, I, and you know, for about two weeks ago, we started chatting and I wanted to learn more because I, I finally discovered kind of what it was. And I also just want to make sure it was legit, you know? Um, so at the same time, I had sent the white paper that you'll, I'll show you in a bit. It's actually published on Cornell's website as well. Uh, I had sent that to, to a couple of my friends who are in the same space, actually, pro actually projects I've invested into, uh, Mind Network, and, uh, and one other one as well who are both working on FHE technology for uh, uh, fully homomorphic encryption. And so this is what base AI is using. It's some of the most advanced encryption technology. It's also the reason that I'm so bullish on my network, which is, uh, if you guys remember, is creating essentially that privacy layer around Chainlink CCIP that is absolutely necessary for CCIP to function with all the big institutions like DTCC and uh, Swift and, and you know, which, when Sergey from Chainlink says, you know, that they will be processing quadrillions uh, of, of dollars of value every every year on chain. That is only going to be possible because of FHE, right? This encryption that my network is building for Chainlink CCIP. Now, it is absolutely like the supremacy of encryption. It is more powerful than ZK, uh, zero knowledge. However, there it, right now it is a little bit slow and clunky, but I was assured by multiple teams that that obviously is going to speed up as hardware capacity increases and as they are able to scale it and make it more efficient. Anyway, with that being said, it is quite complex. And like I told you guys before when I made the video on AI, um, 
I don't actually remember back when I was in Saudi in Alula, uh, I made an entire video. It was also a Friday night like this, and it was my thesis on just kind of like the significance of blockchain and crypto. And the question that a lot of people ask, like, does it belong together? And what I think is going to absolutely be critical for our future is to be able to have a democratized, open, public, kind of transparent and trusted network that large language models can be can exist on and people can have applications or dApps built on top of. And so, listen, in this two hour call with the devs, uh, they were just I was really trying to get them because I don't I'm not a developer. I'm not a, 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 you know, I don't understand encryption, I'm not a cryptographer. Um, so it was a, a, like a two hour call. And really, I just wanted to, to kind of just talk to him for 15 minutes and just understand how to explain this. Uh, because I also still don't fully understand what BitTensor does, but I understand the value proposition here, right? And that this is a, essentially a layer one that like BitTensor has something else called brains, right? And I'll just read this to you, uh, good resource here. So Base AI project being developed by Base Labs and the OG Pepe coin was the original Pepe coin that launched in 2016 on its own L1 and migrated to Ethereum. These are the true OG developers and now they're building a layer one focused on FHE powered large language models and smart contracts. So uh, FHE, I explained this to you guys already, it's the holy grail of, of, of encryption. Now why this is important guys for everybody and you know, I've also talked to this project before, Phoenix here, which is a great project. Um, still ch chatting with them. They've raised a ton of money. Uh, what FHE essentially allows to happen is it allows inputs and outputs to remain encrypted the entire time, but also be understood by machines. So the, the problem with cryptography today a lot of times is like, uh, let's say that I, I send a message to a, a large language model, right? A GPT or something. But I don't want anyone ever to, it's super private, right? It's, it's easy, it's, you know, my intellectual property. It's my private information, right? It's picture, whatever it is. It's super sensitive and I want to make sure that there's no chance in hell that anyone's eyeballs ever see it. With current technology, other than FHE, when your data is sent into something, it can be sent from your device, it's encrypted on your device, sent to the receiver, and for the receiver to do anything with it, process it, understand it, read it, it has to be decrypted. And then it processes it for results and then sends it back to you encrypted and then your device de decrypts it. So this is called like public and private key encryption. Now, FHE, I don't know how, but somehow allows the machine, you to, you to have that information encrypted when it's sent to the, to the, the, the model that needs to understand it. And then it can process it without ever decrypting it, keeping it 100% private, 100% encrypted the entire time. So no, there's no chance that that ever leaks to anybody's visible eyes in plain text ever. Very, very, very important. And this is the pinnacle of what institutions, what people need to feel, to feel safe and secure to share their most sensitive information with the most powerful technology in the world, which is AI, right? Because with benevolent and, and open, powerful AI, can really dramatically change our ways in the best way imaginable. If you trust, if you can, if you can trust, or let me say it better in the, in the true spirit of blockchain and decentralization in a trustless fashion, meaning you don't have to trust anybody because it's all open source code and you don't have to trust, right? Our motto in crypto is don't trust, verify. So in a trustless fashion, I can send my information, my most sensitive stuff to this algorithms, AI, that understands every single bit of me. It understands everything about me, thinks like me, learns to, to, to you know, talk like me, like becomes another me. And I've talked, and I've spoken to other, you know, AI development companies who are building literally, uh, they're getting as close to, to cloning your brain and your consciousness and your, your memory and everything into a virtual you so that it can do tasks on behalf of you, think like you. It can go to you know, uh, events in the metaverse and conference for you and find out other uh, you know, virtual models of you and clones of you and figure out who you should be connected with, right? They have these conversations. And wow, could you just imagine what life will be like once 
that is possible. But today, you know, <laughs> you do not want to put anything of your sensitive information into, let's say, chat GBT, right? You would never want to feed it, let's say, an invention that you created or something very personal about you because none of that is your information. None of it is private. It is fully free for them to, to view, observe, learn from, and, and take, right? And as long as AI and these language models remain privatized, it will always be like that, probably. I mean, I'm not sure about Elon's, but the point is, is that we need, you know, uh, crowdsource the best minds in the world to build the best models in the world and have that be on a blockchain for transparency and trust and it needs an incentive mechanism built around it. So there's good actors and bad actors are punished. It is simple as that. That is that is what is the holy grail in my mind of AI and for us to be able to work with it in the healthiest way possible. So value proposition here. Like BitTensor, and, it, cause I, I, and, and I talked to the devs and it's it's the easiest way is to describe it like BitTensor even though it's different, right? BitTensor doesn't have smart contracts. BitTensor does have what's called subnets, which make the subnets quite rare and unique. And based AI has what it's called brains here, brains. Now this is where things get interesting and where I, I find it quite respectable uh, from the developers because they originally created Pepe coin, right? Behind me over here. And that still has, they're, bu they're building uh, sniper bots and trading bots and all kinds of cool stuff. I highly, highly encourage you to go to the website and go play around with it. They've got uh, encrypted peer-to-peer -peer chat on there. So if you have, a, have private messages that you don't trust WhatsApp or whatever, or text messages, just go to Pepe Coin and use their uh, private secure messaging system. It's, it's really cool. Um, and so, but the point here is that I respect, uh, you know, developers and project founders who, if their project, if they're phasing it out, you know, don't just abandon your community and your token. Either try to try to keep going and have that token and have different utility in the future, or figure out a way to bring that community and give them value and bring them into the new community. And that's what they've done. So, so there will be. So in BitTensor, you've got thirty-two subnets. In Base, you have one thousand and twenty-four brains, right? And you can think of it like a bit tensor, but bit tensor is at 32 subnet cap right now, and subnet registration is around $6 million. So this is where it gets really interesting on the two tokens I'm talking about. They both exist, Based AI and Pepe Coin. So the Genesis brain, I, I, this, I, so right now we've got, and I'll talk about this in a second, we've got the alpha, or so you've got a, a test net running. It just started like last week, I think, or two weeks ago, and then after that runs for four to six weeks, they'll have another test net for four to six weeks. And then probably around the end of May is when main net of base AI goes live. So this has been in the works for a while. And then we will have these brains that are very, that will be a finite supply. And in order to acquire a brain, you will have to, the first one will be sold for 1000 Pepe coins. Right now that's like $2,000. And then the next brain that's sold is 1,200. The next one, 1,400 and it will increase by 200 Pepe coin every time a new one is minted. And if all 1,024 brains are activated, this will translate the, uh, to the Pepe coin supply being reduced by over 76%. Could you imagine any token supply being reduced by 76%? What do you think that does when an asset is in high demand and the supply is just plummeting? You get what I'm talking about? I talk about this all the time with Bitcoin, supply crunch, right? You need something and no one wants to sell it to you unless you give them a really, really, really attractive price. That is what's happening here with Pepe coins. So in, so in, in one video, and uh, I forget the guy's name right now, but I will share the link below and I'll post it on my Twitter. He makes a great video. And, and what the community is calling this is the, the, the pepping or the, the flipping, right? Because this is the, the OG Pepe. And... The thought is, is that the original Pepe should win because the other one was a copycat. And the, this utility, this demand, in my opinion, will drive this Pepe coin through the effing roof. And so Pepe coin, you can think of it as a leverage play on based AI. If you think that based AI is going to be popular, and I already see it happening, right? Uh, 
yeah, yeah, and it, it, you know, I can go into more videos too, guys, over in depth on this because I, I think I'd like to. I mean, as it evolves, I will continue to make videos, but I just, I know enough now to where I'm very confident in the narrative and I'm just bullish, bullish as hell. So, um, so as you can see, base AI, uh, the Prometheus testnet has initialized. This will run for 30 days until the Cayenne testnet, which runs 30 days until mainnet. Manage, send, brains, based. Uh, and then you can go to the documents here. You can check it all out. Uh, their Twitter handle is at getbasedai. And, uh, and you can see here, this is their white paper. This is the one I sent to everyone I know, uh, the, the, guy, the, the teams that I know that understand things like FHE, AI, crypto. And I just love that this is published on Cornell's, uh, Cornell's website. And you can see that they put a big brain Pepe in, uh, in this super awesome white paper. And that was actually validated uh, by folks that I know saying this is actually a lot of really brilliant ideas here. And, uh, and this is the, this here is the, essentially the, the, the supply curve or demand curve for Pepe coin. Cause also another way, instead of, instead of burning a thousand Pepe coin or 2000 Pepe coin, you could also stake a hundred thousand Pepe coin. Either way you look at it, either way you look at it is the demand is astronomical and reducing the supply effectively down to something like 33 million from today's 133 million. And I think this is gonna happen very quick, guys. And if you look at the price here, let's go to the daily chart. Yeah. You see, you can see it peaked out. Somebody aped hard over here, topping out at about $8.50. That was one probably huge market buy. But you can see that as people start to understand what's going on right now, uh, yeah, so th oh, this is yeah, this is base AI, and then let's go to let's, go, let's check out Pepe as well. But so base AI is, is sitting here right now at a 198 million fully diluted valuation for for fun. Real quick, let's go to Coin Gecko and let's look at ooh market not looking good. Tau, a bit tensor. So it's right now $12 billion FDV, but it's also sitting right now, the markets are bleeding, obviously. It's down 25%. I think this thing topped out around 15 billion FDV or something, right? And that's like 72, 3X from here. And that is only if based got to where BitTensor is now, but BitTensor is gonna freaking crank in the bull run, right? And based AI is actually, from what I understand, and of course I dug in deeper because I have more skin in the game now, but there's a lot of reasons to be more bullish on based. And, it, and yes, of course, this developer team from based AI told me that it was superior, but obviously they're gonna say that it's, they're building it, but I actually believe them because it's not the first development developers that have told me that there's some severe limitations to BitTensor that are very in, like limiting, right? And uh, so we'll see. But I think based on the narrative alone and the mainnet going live in in uh, in May, and the fact that they've been working on us for a while, they've proven their track record. They stay true to their community. I talked to them. The white paper has been validated. Like. There's a lot of reasons for me to have made this video where I feel very, very bullish. Now this is Pepe coin, the leverage play, right? And I, I bought both quite heavily, both based AI and Pepe coin. Now, if you look at the weekly chart, it's literally, and, and nobody's really talking about this. I mean, it's literally like for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks up only, and generally, I mean, this is kind of like, no one knew about it, no one's talking about it, no one's talking about it, and then boom, people find out. But still, if you type in based AI in YouTube, nothing comes up. If you type in Pepe coin, one word, you'll either find a bunch of people talking about the copycat or some older videos from nine or 10 months ago talking about Pepe coin, the OG one. And they're very interesting to watch. I suggest that you go do that. So 
guys, what you can do right now, what I did is I took all the Pepe coin that I bought and I came to the website, pepecoin.io, and you go here to based farm. And so right now it's still emitting based AI tokens. So if I have them, I can come here. Ah, now you guys can see how many I have because it's still, it's still here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so you know, you know, I have a lot, right? And, and I've staked them. Uh, look, and I got I got some rewards already too over here. So, I mean, high conviction, um, very high conviction play here, guys. I, I'm I'm. It's been a while since I brought something to you this strong. Uh, it, it has all the narratives. I, I've, I've really dug into this. I, it's been hard for me not to tell people about it because I've been excited. I've watched the price literally go up like crazy since I've been studying it, but I, I really wanted to do my own research. Now this is, this cannot be financial advice. You cannot say, Kyle, you aped in hard, so I'm gonna go ape in hard. Please go do your own research, ask around, I think, I think one of the things that made me the most interesting, interested and trusting in this project is the, the extent and the time at which this team has been known and been around since 2016, shipping and delivering product, innovating. Uh, they eff effectively created the world's first NFT marketplace way before OpenSea. They created the world's first meme coin blockchain before anything else, before Ethereum was even here. These are OG devs and if you look around You'll see videos of them on a posting on Twitter and stuff about them like with with you know a house full of like the most insane like Nvidia graphics cards or whatever to, to start running this operations and stuff like the big powerful ones. This is a serious team, uh, and I think that those who are finding out, you can see that it's it's been seven weeks of this word slowly spreading. But with Pepe Coin at at a quarter billion, and let's go to see what. Uh, Let's go see what the other Pepe is at, AKA the copycat, which is actually skyrocketing. This one's at a, a 3 billion. So that's still, that's still uh, to four, 12 X to go to Pepe coin. But this is the thing here. The beta usually never wins. In this case, the beta, the, what, the copy of the cool original thing is winning. Everyone wants to see the underdog Take the big W. And as the devs from Pepe Coin and Base I would say, they're gonna dev their way to the top. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that 100%. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.